causal body then also the i which is recognized in all those bodies is the same it is not different and even the vyavahara which is there with respect to those bodies and those avasthas such as if one is having identification with gross body then one may say i am fat i am lean other with uh, sukshma sharira i am loving i am caring with uh, uh, this karana sharira i am ignorant all this vyavahara bheda is there but still the i that is there is the same in each and every place thus has to jagrata yes so in the jagrata avastha that i am awake right now or i was dreaming as is referring to the uh, swapna avastha so in all of those the i which is referred to does not change even though the shariras are different and the vyavahara related to those sharira and re- related to those avastha are different still the i is the same similarly even though there is difference in the <coughs> bodies but still the atma is same in all those bodies and even though there is this difference in the vyavahara such as aham tvam ayam then also the atma can be same and by that the hetu is dismissed and therefore that anumanam is not a nirdushta anumanam yes there is a dosha and therefore it is not a valid means of knowledge and now in this fourth point the purva pakshi who had quoted the the differences in the deva danava etc which is men- which are mentioned in shruti smriti etc to show that there is difference of atma that particular point is answered so it is said that the difference in the vyavahara transaction such as this deva danava manushya etc which are presented in the shruti smriti purana itihasa etc and those differences were mentioned earlier those differences are based upon or are dependent upon the respective bodies means the respective upadis and which are starting from brahma ji means starting from the body of brahma ji up to the body of clump of grass and they are not based upon the difference in the atma and why is this so for that two reasons are given the first reason is that there is non establishment of the difference of the self which is of the nature of consciousness and why is this non establishment there because the consciousness is uniform in all the bodies so in all the bodies consciousness is uniform and consciousness is equal to atma therefore in all the bodies atma is also uniform and the second re- reason is it is because ha huh, because of the ascertainment of the uniformity of the self based on the various shrutis in hundreds of shruti and they use the word oneness <coughs> yes so because of the ascertainment of oneness of the self based on various shrutis and certain shrutis are quoted by the tippanikar and what are those the first one shweta shweta upanishad says there is one effulgent consciousness hidden in all the beings then in the brahadaranyaka this unobjectifiable unchangeable self or consciousness should be seen as uniform ekdham is as one alone <coughs> then in brahadaranyaka it is said the one who sees difference in this means in this self 
that person goes from death to death means that person goes from one body to another body then another in brahadaranyaka upanishad as there is yes yes so here उपाधि <coughs> 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 Uh, in reality the differences are not there but due to one's own perception or wrong notion nahi due to one's own perception one is seeing the differences <coughs> yes then next is just as there is one water means in waves in wavelets etc there is one water alone similarly there is non dual drashta means the atma the consciousness is non dual then in kathopanishad similarly in all the beings there is one atma and here the example of agni is given that just as fire is one in all the fuels similarly atma is one in all the beings and then ishavasi upanishad it is said in the state of knowledge for the one who is who is seeing oneness means for the wise person who is seeing oneness what is the moha what is the delusion and what is the sorrow means there is no moha and there is no shoka So we are seeing the topic of <coughs> Jiva Brahma Aikya Vishaye Akshepa Samadhana With regard to Jiva Brahma Aikya which is the subject matter there are certain objections and the answers to those objections and Puru Pakshi began with <coughs> the objection to Jiva Brahma Aikya saying that If there was only one Jivatma, then Jivatma would be one with Paramatma. Because Paramatma is one, Jivatma is one. Therefore, both of them are one. Both are one. Therefore, they are one. Ekatma Rupa Lakshana Sanya Lakshya Yoho Jiva Paramatma Noho Ekyam. But Natu Tatha Asti. It is not like that. Why? Because Jivatma are many. For that Siddhanti said that <clears throat> you are saying that Atmas are many and therefore Jivatma naha ekatvam nasti and therefore Jivatma Paramatma ekam is not there. That is not correct. Why? The very basis that Atma is aneka, many, for that there is no Praman. And you may say that oh, Indriya Pratyaksha is there. Here the word Indriya Pratyaksha is used to distinguish it from the Sakshi Pratyaksha. Because there is a Sakshi Pratyaksha also. So Indriya Pratyaksha is <clears throat> the Pramanam the presented by the ignorant people. And what is their, their thinking when they say Indriya Pratyaksha is the Atma Nanatvam? They said I am seeing one Atma sitting here, one Atma sitting there, one Atma sitting there. One jiva sitting here, one jiva sitting there, one jiva sitting there. Yes. And you cannot say, no, no, only body is sitting. Guru Pakshi says to Siddhartha, if somebody asks, no, no, it is a body sitting there. See, mere body cannot sit. It will fall off. Isn't it? Somebody is sitting and the <coughs> Atma goes away. What will happen? We cannot stand. If that way somebody said, he said, when we have got Atma, we can walk. You know, we don't require anybody. But when Atma goes away, then we require four people to go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we cannot even, uh, you know, carry ourselves. So, 
Upavishati, one sits, the sitting one is what? Chetana entity, which is Atma. So I am seeing one Atma sitting, one Atma sitting, one Atma sitting. So Indriya Pratyaksha is there for what? Atma Bahutva. For Siddhanti, for that Siddhanti is saying that what you are seeing, the differences, what you are thinking, there is a Pratyaksha Pramana for the manyness of Atma, is really centered on the body, but you are attributing it to Atma. So manyness of the body is superimposed upon manyness of Atma. Is superimposed upon the Atma, not manyness of Atma. The uh, manyness of the body is superimposed upon Atma. Like Akasha and Ghatta, example we have. And Siddhant is there, he takes a very strong stand saying that Atma is not available for Pratyakshadi. Where is the question of? understanding or, or knowing the manyness of Atma from Pratyaksha. Atma is not available for Pratyaksha. If Dharmi Graha Pramana is not possible, Dharma Graha Pramana, how is it possible? And when Pratyaksha is not possible, Anumana is not possible. And therefore, Atma Bahutva Vishaya Pratyaksha Pramanam Nasti. Because Atma Vishaya Pratyaksha Pramanam Nasti. And then, Purva Pakshi said, how can you say Atma, Atma Nekatpe Pramanam Nasti? Then he gave five Pramana. For that, answer is being given one by one. So far we have seen the answer to the four Pramanas. The last one was, in Shruti, different types of Jivas are mentioned. Manushya, Gandharva, Deva, etc., when Shruti herself is presenting them as different, how can you say that Atma Anekatpam is not presented by Shruti? Shruti presents. And for that we say that in all the bodies, consciousness is uniform. And that consciousness is Atma. Therefore, this Atma is uniformly and singly present in all the bodies. That is one thing. Second thing is, the Shruti is telling the oneness of Atma in so many ways. There are so many. Shruti Shatebhya. So, Shruti Shatebhya Atmana Ekatva Nishyat. And therefore, what? That what is <coughs> presented by you as Pramanam for Atma Ekatvam, those Shrutis Smuti Ityasa Purana, they are not Tatparya Vishaya. Means the Shruti Smuti, etc., which you are presenting, they do not have Tatparya mean the Nanatvam of Atma. Even though it is presenting different types of jiva, but it does not have Tatparyam in establishing manyness of jiva. Because manyness of Atma is already Branti Siddha, already available. Shruti doesn't have to tell. Shruti cannot have Tatparya means something which is already known by people without Shastra. And between the Tatparyavati Shruti and Tatparya Rahita, Tatta Darthe Tatparya Rahita Shruti, which one is stronger? Tatparya Vati Shruti is stronger. Tadartha Nirnaye. Tatta Dartha Nirnaye. Tatta Tatparya Vati Shruti. Tatta Tatparya Rahita Shruti Sakashat Prabhala. Means what? In deciding certain subject matter, when we are resorting to Shruti Pramanam, then the Shruti which is having the Tatpriyam in that particular subject matter is more powerful than the Shruti 
which is not having tatpariya means that such is that. Is it clear? <clears throat> it is something like uh, some Swamiji, he advises some person that you can have two cigarettes. To whom he said, that person who was having ten cigarettes. And elsewhere he said, you should never smoke, it's not good for you. Not good for sadhaka, it makes you so dependent, chemical dependence. So, between these two statements, which one is powerful? The second one. Why? There is a Tatparya in it. If you smoke, you have only two cigarettes, there is no Tatparya. It is a Parisankhya Vidhi. Tatparya means in the exclusion of not having more. More than two should be avoided. In that, there is a Tatparya. So, between the Tatparya Vati and Tatparya Rahita, Tatparivati is powerful. And this Shruti is a Tatparivati. Why? Because it has got Apurvata. Not only Apurvata, it has got Palavat Pam. They are Lingas, no? By knowing that Atmas are many, what Purushartha am I getting? Already we were knowing. So we would have attained the Purushartha. We need not go to Shruti. Whereas by knowing, there is only one Atma, Bheda Nibandhana Samsara goes away. Or Bheda Buddhi Nibandhana Samsara goes away. Therefore, Tasya Tatpari Vartate. Tatra Tatpari Vartate. Advaite Atmanah Ekatve Tatpari Vastri. And therefore, by this Ekatva Pratipadaka Shruti being Prabhala and by that Shruti this Bheda Upadi based Bheda talked about elsewhere in Shruti or Vityasa Purana is negative. In fact that is why we have so much Sastra study. Why? Because in Sastra so many things are told and sometimes they look contradictory. That's why we get questions. It is said like this. How can it be? So, Purva Paksha is there. The Siddhanti has to give answer. That's how it keeps on going. That's why teachers also have a job. Students also have got three year course. Otherwise, <laughs> one week, ten days course is enough. Alright. So, that was the fourth one. Now, fifth one. Fifth one is what? Yukti. Yukti was that if Atma is only one, then Sukha Dukha Vyavastha will not be there. Confusion will be there. He said one person cries, the all will be crying. Which has to be Prabhupada nicely, he gave examples. He said, like children. <laughs> he was saying, children, even 20 children are there, like one or two cries and all will cry. It's like what they call cooperative endeavor. <laughs> other child, nothing has happened. But, <laughs> they think that is a that is a is a thing to be done. <laughs> so that type of situation will happen. So Atma Ekatva has got this Pratyaksha Viroda and that particular you think that if Atma was one, then Sukadukkadi Vyavastha will not be there. <clears throat> and therefore Atma should not be one. For that answer is given. Nacha Atme Ikatve Sukha Dukkhadi Vyavastha Pratyaksha Siddhana Pratyaksha Siddhana Siddhye Diti Vachyo He says Atme Ikatve Sati If there was oneness of the cell then Sukha Dukkhadi Vyavastha the settlement, the arrangement of Sukha and Dukkha pleasure, pain anger etc. Nasidhye would not be established. And somebody said, let it not be established. 
and therefore he says pratyaksha siddha he said it is already it is established by pratyaksha that i am happy uh, you are not happy or vice versa hmm? so pratyaksha siddha sukha dukha de vyavastha atma atmekatve na siddhe and pratyaksh this sukha dukha de vyavastha is there therefore what atmekatva nasti so this which is uh, which pramana it is suggested artha bhakti artha the format is of artha bhakti isn't it atma atmekatve na siddhyatme sanupapadyamana pratyaksha siddha sukha dukha di vyavastha anyathanupapatya atme atmanekatvam kalpayati isn't it so he indirectly yukti pramana is suggested iti now siddhanti having restated the objection he said na vachyam siddhanti says such objection should not be told should not be mentioned the this is language is little bit uh, aggressive language no it's a bit doubt in it logo ko bahut kharab lagta hai so i remember that uh, somebody said oh somebody the course was doing somebody my relative is there and can i go one class i can skip and when class i can skip and i can i go and all this so i should not have said but i said aapko aise vichar kaise aaya logo bahut kharab laga खराब लगता आपको बोलने की people are unhappy some people are in between 
that also can be taken as adi audasinya so that sukha dukha di vyavastha which is pratyaksha siddha is possible even if there is division in antakrana it does not require the manyness of atma like this lagu guru akasha small space big space that type of vyavastha that here there is small space you know and in that place very big place ye room chota hai wo room big hai so that type of vyavastha doesn't require manyness of space it can be explained away by the manyness of enclosures similarly sukha dukha di vyavastha is dependent on the division of antakarana division of upadi which is antakarana means what antakaranas are many and different antakarana can have different states and therefore there will be some antakarana will be having sukha some antakarana will be having dukha and therefore sukha dukha di vyavastha is possible even though the atma which is illumining all the antakarana is one and the same even though atma is one but still antakranas are different which are having different states in the form of sukha and dukha therefore pratyaksha siddha sukha dukha di vyavastha can be established you need not go up to the manyness of atma that is what is said here antakran rupa antakranakya upadi veda nibandhanatva tasya now somebody may say but how antakrana will have manyness of sukha dukha means how antakrana will have variety of sukha dukha antakrana antakrana is the same so just the manyness of antakrana how will it become the basis for sukha dukha di vyavastha it is all same instrument everywhere for that he says tattat upadi gata sukha dukha sukha dukha di vyavastha ya tattat prarabdha karma dhinatva he says sukha dukha di vyavastha the arrangement or the settlement of sukha dukha di obtaining gata tattat upadi in various upadi various adjuncts is adhinatva because it is dependent on the prarabdha karma the punya papa which have started giving the result and what type of prarabdha karma related to respective antakarana tattat prarabdha respective prarabdha karma so what it it is said here that sukha duk this sukha dukha di vyavastha is not establishing one uh, manyness of atma because sukha dukha di vyavastha is dependent on the antakarana division of antakarana but division of antakarana how will it establish sukha dukha di vyavastha for that further explanation is like a hetu is established by another hetu hmm? so hetu ko padana me he says that prarabdha this prarabdha karma related to different antakarana are different and therefore depending upon the prarabdha or uh, related to different antakarana there will be sukha dukha so what is said here that prarabdha variety will decide the variety of the conditions of antakarana and based on that sukha dukha di vyavastha can be established so sukha dukha di vyavastha can be established based on the division of antakarana because the sukha dukha are related to the prarabdha karma related to individual antakarana 
Is it clear? So two things C is, uh, is giving as the reason for or the, uh, the basis for establishing the Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha. Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha means what? Some people are having Sukha, some people are having Dukkha. This type of situation is called Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha. Is it clear? And how this, this Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha, how is it established? One fact is Antakkaranas are different. Even though Atma is one, but Antakkarana Upadis are different. And Antakkarana is subject to the influence of Praradha Karma and then Praradha Karma is different. So Praradha Karma difference will bring about the difference in the Antakkarana variety and Antakkarana variety will bring about the Sukha Dukha Vyavastha for Jiva. <coughs> is it clear? So Antakkarana Akhya, Antakkarana अच्छा अंतकरण रूप उपाधि नो आई सेड आख्या आंसर अंतकरण रूप उपाधि निबंधन सो सुख दुखा दी व्यवस्था इज बेस्ड ऑन द डिवीजन ऑफ उपाधि इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अंतकरण इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आख्या और फाइनली विल द सेम मीनिंग बट अंतकरण रूप आए सो स्टैंड करेक्टेड सुख दुखा दी व्यवस्था इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द डिवीजन ऑफ द उपाधि इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अंतकरण एंड आल्सो हाउ दिस Antakrana, antakrana Rupa Upadhi Bheda will help in establishing Sukha Dukkhadi Vyavastha and that was answered by saying that the Sukha Dukkhadi Vyavastha obtaining in different different Upadhi is dependent on the Praradha Karma respective Praradha Karma related to different different Antakrana. Is it clear? Alright. Now for that Further he explanation gives. He says, Ekasmin eva dehe sukha dukkha dinam vaichitriyam karma bhedat upapadyate. So in fact rather it is an explanation of what has been said. Ekasmin eva deha. In one body alone, sukha dukkha dinam vaichitriyam. The variety of sukha and dukkha. Karma bhedat upapadyate is tenable because of the difference in karma. What does it mean? For one jiva itself, what you are accepting as one jiva only, at least that much you accept that you are only one jiva or you are saying that many jivas in one life, 100 jivas, 500 jivas come. That one time, one karma is over, one jiva comes. Another karma, another jiva. Do you accept? No. You accept that, that even though Sukha Dukkhas are different because of Karma Veda, Jiva is one. So even though Sukha Dukkhas are different, Sukha Dukkha, Sukha is there sometimes, Dukkha is there sometimes, Sukha Dukkha the Vyavastha is there even though there is one Atma. He says, Ekasvi Neva Dehe. He is in one body during one lifespan. Sukha Dukkha Dina Vechitriyam. The variety of Sukha Dukkha Dina Upapadhyate is possible because of karma bheda. So even though jiva or atma is one, still because of karma bheda, sukha dukkha vyavastha is possible. In one body it is possible. That is acceptable to uh, Puro Pakshi. But Siddhanti uses that as a basis. So just as even though one body is there, one atma is there, still karma bheda is there, then sukha dukkha variety is possible. So, Sukha Dukkha variety does not establish manyness of Atma even in your Siddhartha. Karma Veda is good enough to establish Sukha Dukkha di Vaichitriyam. Atma Nanatvam is not required even in your Siddhartha. That much we accept or not. That Atma is one, still karmas are different, so Sukha Dukkha di variety will be possible. And therefore what? The Sukha Dukkha di Vaichitriyam does not establish the manyness of Atma. Tasmat. Sukha Dukkha di Nam Punya Punya Karma Karyatvena. Therefore, therefore means what? Because of this observation that in one body itself the Vaichitriyam of Sukha Dukkha di is possible because of Karma Veda. Therefore, in fact, he is paraphrasing that idea. Tasmat, 
Sukha Dukkha Dinam Pun E is now connecting what has been told earlier and connecting and the, what has been told in the previous sentence and presenting. So Upa Samharati. Therefore, Sukha Dukkha Dinam Punya Punya Karma Karyatvena Tadbheda. Since Sukha Dukkha Dis are the effect of the Punya Punya Karma, Punya Punya Rupa, Punya and Papa Rupa Karma, and Tad Bheda, and there is difference of this Punya Punya, therefore, so two reasons, Sukha Dukkha Dis are the result of Punya Punya, and Punya Punya, Tad Bheda means Karma Bheda, and because there is a difference in Karma, therefore, Chidabhasa Yukta Tad Tatta Danta Karana Rupa Bhoktru Bhedacha Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha Sambhavati Eva. Therefore, Bhedat, Bhoktru Bhedat, because of the difference in the Bhokta, the experiencer, who is in the form of Antakkarana, Tatta Dantakkarana, means various Antakkarana, which is endowed with Chidabhasa, in that book through there is a Veda. Antakranas are different and therefore Chidabhasas are different and therefore Bhoktas are different. Because Chidabhasa Yukta Antakrana is a Bhokta. Antakranas are different, Chidabhasa are different, therefore Chidabhasa Yukta Antakrana Rupa Bhoktas are different. Since Bhoktas are different, Karmas are different. Therefore what? Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha Sambhavati Eva. Therefore, the arrangement of Sukha Dukkha Di is possible, definitely. <clears throat> so, what he is saying, the essence, if you get the saram of what he is saying is, even though there is no manyness of Atma, still Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha is possible <coughs> because of the variety at, at the level of different things. In Bhokta there is a variety because Bhokta is equal to Chidabhasa Yukta Antakrana. In Bhokta there is a difference. In the Antakrana there is a difference. In the Karma there is a difference. In all of them differences are there. And they are responsible for the differences in the experience of Sukha and Dukkha. So because of Upadi and Upadi Dharma Sukha Dukkha the Vyavastha is possible. It does not establish the manyness of Atma. So we had suggested Anyatha Nupapatti. That Anyatha Nupapattya Sukha Dukkha the Vyavastha Atmanaha Anekatvam Sadayati. So we are saying what? Anyatha Upapattya. Sukha Dukkha the Vyavastha is possible without the Anekatvam of Atma. And therefore, the Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha is not establishing Anekatva of Atma. Even Atma is one, Anekatva is not there. Still, Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha is possible because of manyness of Antakrana, manyness of Karma, and thereby manyness, um, manyness of Antakrana, and thereby manyness of Bhokta, and also manyness of the Prarabdha Karma. The Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha is possible. And therefore, it does not establish Anekatva of Atma. That is the, in fact, general approach of Puro Paksha Siddhanti. Puro Paksha will be focusing only on one aspect. Therefore, it will be getting one conclusion. Siddhanti will draw the attention. See, this you have missed. If you see this, then your conclusion will not be, uh, will not be arrived at. So, you have missed this point. That just because Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha is there, therefore Atma Anekatvam, Atma Anekatvam should be there, that you are jumping to the conclusion. Without that also is possible. Alright. And that's what Siddhanti showed. That Atma Anekatva is not there, Atma Eka is there. Still, because of the other factors which are responsible for Sukha Dukkha Di, they being manifold, Sukha Dukkha Di Vyavastha is possible. Alright. Now, Puru Pakshi had another objection. That is restated and answer in the next sentence. Atmanaha ekatve, ekasya sarvagatve, sarve sarvagdaha syu. 
if atma is one and one atma becomes sarvajna sarvajna means sarvam atma iti janati iti sarvajna in that sense sarvajna otherwise no jivatma is becoming sarvajna we have seen yas sarvajna sarvavit in that we have seen sarvajna means sarvam brahma iti janati sa sarvajna sarvavit he cannot one jani also cannot become sarvajna he can become so ekasmin vignate sarvam vignatam bhavati based on that ekasya sarvajnatve when one person becomes all knowing then sarve sarvajna you then all will become the all knowing because there is only one atma tataha you cannot say that somebody my right hand is sarvajna left hand is not sarvajna mm-hmm. my upper portion is sarvajna lower portion is not sarvajna you cannot say you as a whole sarvajna so if it was only one atma then you cannot say that uh, here only i am sarvajna it's not like that you have to be sarvajna and somebody said okay let everybody be sarvajna koi baat nahi discount shit let everybody be sarvajna what that she says tataha vidhi nishedhadi shastram anarthakam syat tatami then then means what sarve sarve sarvesham sarvagnatve if all have become sarvagna then vidinish deshadi vidinishedadi shastra manarthakam syat the shastra which is prescribing the vidhi nisheda then adi aitik we, we have to prescribe some arthavada etc vidhi nishedadi shastra because we have got no vidhi nisheda arthavada so something will be that's why we have variety so the shastra which is talk, which is in the form of vidhi nisheda arthavada namadheya and what one more is mantra 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 ha ah, mantra to so, shastram ke anarthakam syat it be useless iti iyam api shanka na yujyate this type of doubt also is not proper here also it will be thoda coarse here it can be less to me it sound it will less aggressive na yujyate means it doesn't sound logical usme to na vach mera ko kharab laga tha na yujyate it is not reasonable why yadyapi एकहेवात्मा सर्वदा सर्वत्रम सर्वम विजानाति तथापि तत्तद्देहस्था अंतकरण वृत्ति द्वारा एव कडपटादि विषय विशेषान जानाति सो ई सिद्धांति गिव्स द आंसर फ्रॉम अ स्लाइटली डिफरेंट एंगल और वी वी कैन से पूर्वपक्षी आल्सो दैट पूर्वपक्षी आल्सो सेज आत्मा इज सर्वज्ञ और नॉट आत्मा व्हिच इज वन विद परमात्मा इज सर्वज्ञ और नॉट सो ई we have to say that if parmatma is sarvagna then what is one with parmatma should be sarvagna so if parmatma is sarvagna then atma should be sarvagna and only one atma is there therefore all should be sarvagna that type of doubt comes and for that answer is given yadyapi ekaheva atma sarvada sarvatra sarvam vijanati even though one atma alone sarvada always sarvatra everywhere sarvam everything vijanati till you means tathapi even then tatta dehastha antakarana vritti dwara eva katapatadi vishay vishay visheshan janati even then even though atma is the illuminator of all but तत्तेहस्थ अंतकरण वृत्ति द्वारा एव थ्रू द्वारा मीन्स थ्रू थ्रू द अंतकरण वृत्ति द थॉट ऑफ द माइंड अपटेनिंग इन रेस्पेक्टिव बॉडी तत्त मीन्स रेस्पेक्टिव घटपटादि विषय विशेषान पर्टिक्युलर ऑब्जेक्ट्स विषय विशेषान मीन्स पर्टिक्युलर ऑब्जेक्ट्स सच एज घटपटा the part cloth etc janati knows in general atma illumines everything so atma is sarvavyapi and uh, atma is chaitanya swarupa and so in general it illumines everything but particular objects 
Atma illumines only through the Antakkarana Vritti, which is obtaining in a particular body. Means, Samanya Dhanam, Nana Samanyam, called Chaitanya, is everywhere. But, Nana Vishesha, Vishesha Dhanam, which is generally we refer to as Vritti Dhanam, that Nanam is possible only through Antakkarana Vritti. Yataha, because, why is it so? Yataha, Deha Veda Nibandhanaha, Buddhi Vedaha. Why do you say Tattat Dehasta? Because Buddhi Veda, the difference in Buddhi is dependent upon the difference in the body. Tataha Eva, and therefore alone, Prati Deham, in every body, Nana Bhedaha, the difference in knowledge, Api also, Avashyam Jayeta Eva, would definitely be born. So what is said here? Visheshagdhanam is dependent on Antakkarana Vritti. And Antakkaranas are different. And difference of Antakkarana is based on what? The difference of the body. So, how many Antakranas are there? As many bodies are there. Bodies are many, therefore Antakranas are many. And in Antakrana, there are different, different Vrittis. And through specific Vritti alone, the knowledge of specific thing takes place. And therefore, Antakrana being many, the knowledge of Occurring in Antakrana will be many. Like even though same, this what is called Wi-Fi is used, but devices are different. Therefore, content will be different. Wi-Fi is the same. Same uh, Wi-Fi, same signals are there. But it is, devices are different. Therefore, content will be different. So, Atma is something like Wi-Fi. So, <laughs> so, the illuminating principle is the same, but device and takranam are different. And therefore, there is vyavastha of nanam. So one person getting nanam, other person not getting nanam will be possible. All right. So this is one way of explaining. Now he explains in another way, which we'll see in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Hari Om